Greetings, peace and blessings. Happy Thursday. All right, y'all, it's Thursday, it's Jupiter's day. Jupiter's the day that is um, that, that governs expansion, luck, blessings. Um, Jupiter is also about excess. Sometimes we go overboard. <laughs> Sometimes we just do too much. Um, like like things things get good and then we will do more than until it becomes excess. I feel like that's kind of the American way, like how when we like so, like there is a a music group and they have a certain sound and it's successful and then everybody duplicates it, like that's Jupiter in excess. Like something that's good to be overdone. Um, Jupiter is at the 22nd degree of Aquarius, still stationed at the same degree that it was when it turned direct several days ago now. So it's just important to understand that when these planets station direct, the stationing is like a really big event. It's not something that happens fast. And, you know, like, so Mercury moves a degree or so a day. Like, it moves really fast. Mars also moves a degree or so a day. Venus, these planets move. They're not, you know, if, like, if you go do the research, these planets are moving thousands of miles, <laughs> like, per hour. It's really, you know, this is a real interesting thing, like, because the Earth is moving, like, 32,000 miles or so it's I don't know the number in my head right now because I didn't look it up but we we can't feel the movement like it's moving so fast and we don't even recognize that we're moving I just am that just stuff is just remarkable to me like I'm in awe of being a human being and what is happening here and then how we experience it in these interesting ways. Just imagine if the earth stopped, like if it just went skack, like what would happen? <laughs> and, you know, and then there's the electromagnetic field, which is completely alive and conscious. All of these planets are completely conscious. These are conscious, sentient beings that have thought and experience, like all of it. It's, this is, I hope you guys hear my excitement and my joy. And it's a Jupiter day, so it's great. I was born on a Jupiter day. So Jupiter at the 22nd degree is the degree of dreams. And Aquarius is the mind of God. It's really being true to that unique expression inside of you. And so this is about removing all of the conditioning and getting to the purest form of who you really are. I feel like the easiest way to do that is to go back to who we were when we were children. Like I remember very much who I was when I was two and three years old. And I don't remember it you know, I remember the feeling of it is what I want to say. I remember how enthusiastic I was. I remember how curious I was. I remember how I really believed in magic um, and had an expectation for it and how faith was something that was easy for me and how spirituality and love and connection and community were just at my fingertips. Like this is how we can access who we are. If you can, and you and if you've experienced a great deal of trauma, you know, you might not be able to have memory. It's not about your thought memory. It's literally about your body. Your body literally remembers everything. Your body can recall anything. And if you sit down long enough and, and talk to your body and just ask, give me a sense of when I was two years old. It will give you a sense of that, <laughs> you know? If you ask, give me a sense of, like I will say to my body, help me remember my mother. And I will recall a fragrance of hers because the body is the vessel that remembers everything. One of the things that I'm really becoming aware of right now, and I think I'm about to really start studying Tantra, is I've been in open relating communities for like the last decade. And, um, Open relating is a very interesting thing for an empath <laughs> because, you know, when we are in emotional, mental, sexual relationships with people, whether it be one or five or whatever it is, you really are taking on all those energies through your body, you know, through your emotional body, through your mental body. And one of the things I'm beginning to really see easily in my intimate experience, whether they be 
emotionally intimate or mentally intimate or sexually intimate is that we really do carry these traumas through our sexuality and our sexual experiences and we and we exchange memories with our partners um and what i have discovered for me is that if i'm going to be exchanging memories with my partners i need to be able to transmute this stuff transmute the energies from fear and trauma and guilt and shame because as i do my own work and have worked on my own stuff and then if i'm in an open relationship with people who have other partners and those people haven't done their work at the level that i've done mine i start to reprocess guilt and shame and stuff it comes into my system again and so that is why tantra is so necessary because tantra helps us really reprogram the body and take those energies because it's just energy and people might you know everybody's not capable of it and it can make you feel jealous or things like that that are not really um your own frequency but the tantric energy really allows you to move the energy through the body and 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 move it through and transmute it into a higher vibration of love but you've got to be able to face your own shadow you've got to be able to face your own shadow if you're going to face the shadow of another or another energetic and shadows that are of other of others so this is a part of my gift and i know that because i have neptune in the eighth house and it is in a square with mars and leo in the sixth house so that really gives me the power to be able to transmute energy and heal and bring light to dark shadow things i don't have to have an intimate relationship with somebody to do that i can have any kind of relationship with somebody to do that but it's important for us to understand where we are because if you guys are listening to me you are doing work to heal your own life your own family trauma your own body and and then that you doing that work to heal yourself then really lifts your vibration for your community and your friends and aquarius is about friends community organization and jupiter is about faith and expansion and blessings right so how are we showing up in our community and what energies are we bringing there's this book um called jill i can't even but God, I cannot stand when this happens, when I'm about to say something and it goes out of my head. So she has this quote that where she says, be responsible for the energy that you bring into the room. And she was a scientist and she had a stroke. And in her stroke, she lost her motor skills, but her consciousness was completely present. And, and she said that, in this book she talked about how people will come into the room and she could feel their energy she could feel their fear their trauma and and she could and she was able to like see from a different perspective many of us have these abilities and these skills without having a fucking stroke <laughs> you just are born this way and it's it's empathic it's telepathic it's psychic it's clairvoyance it's like you hear what people aren't saying you all of this sort of stuff is a jupiter and aquarius energy with saturn and aquarius like really being able to tap into other frequencies and and um realities and dimensions that are not anchored in the 3d reality but are present in the 3d reality experience and so i had no intention to talk about this this morning this is so interesting um hmm okay so the moon today is in taurus and the moon in taurus is at 10th the 10th degree which mercury is still at the 10th degree i talked about this yesterday with mercury day mercury is still at the 10th degree stationed at the 10th degree and taurus is the energy of our senses our sensory body it's literally how our senses taste touch smell taste 
all of that, but those are just the basic senses. Your, your skin is a whole sensory organ. Your whole body, your whole skin body is a sensory organ. And so it's important for us to be able to recognize energies and, and have, um, have understanding of the unseen world through our own body, through our own mind, through our own emotions. And the more you do the work to heal yourself and make peace with energies and behaviors and things that come through your family lineage, the more you're able to begin to feel in a deep way without reacting, then those energies can get transmuted through your psyche and they become power for you to use in ways that you desire to. Um, but you've got to be able to go into yourself, feel things, and feel them without judging them, feel them without making them wrong. And in your acceptance of what you feel, the energies that you're experiencing, in your acceptance of it, you know, and so it, it you have to be in your body to do this. So people who are dancers, people, Reiki, um, like I said, Tantra, all of this, this kind of energy work allows you to get into your body in a really deep way so that you can transmute these energies into power so that you can use them for whatever you desire to do. So Jupiter in Aquarius is asking you to be true to your unique gifts your divine gifts that come from God in you, <laughs> not God externally, the God inside of you. And as you face the frequencies of, you know, um, you know, the things that are foreign, as you do it joyfully with curiosity, with a willingness to step out into the uncertain, to step out of your comfort zone and trust. You got to trust. You have to trust because it can be very scary. It can feel very threatening. But if you trust the process, your trusting of the process will transmute these energies into something that is usable for yourself going forward. The moon in Taurus is about feeling into the body, your sensory body, trusting what you feel and the sun is still in libra at the final degree and the sun is going into scorpio so this is going to be a more prominent conversation as the sun goes into scorpio because scorpio is about power and that power is first and foremost sexual spiritual sensual power in opposition to taurus so we're going to be doing a lot of work in transmuting power energy when the sun goes in the Scorpio for the next month. So I hope you guys are ready. Um, I'm getting my classes ready. I'm getting clear about what I'm doing moving forward. It's going to be different than what it's been. Um, and that's kind of it. So any questions about anything or, you know, whatever it is, let me see if there's anything here. Uh, all right, y'all. I have five clients today. <laughs> I have not have five clients in a really long time. Um, I generally work with three clients a day and somehow my calendar opened up and five people got into, got into my calendar and I'm excited and grateful to be able to be a space of wisdom and healing to support people in their journey because we are really living through something miraculous right now. I want you to know that the system that we're in is going to start taking a hard crash. It already is, and it's just not on the media. But as people are quitting their jobs and having to force mandates and all of that kind of stuff, the system is really going to begin to collapse. And it's going to be important for people to really face their fears, face their fears and transmute them as we move through the sun in Scorpio, because Scorpio will bring the fears up. So peace and blessings to everyone. I love you guys so very much. Thank you. Bye-bye.